Ken Wilson, uh, I work with Sun Microsystems with the FileBench team, which is a part of the Solaris organization. And a couple of my colleagues are also on that team, Eric Stars and Spencer Shepard, and there's been contributions by previous uh, by other some employees in the past. This started several years ago in the performance group at Sun because they were concerned um, trying, trying to look at the performance of file systems because they were concerned that the benchmarks that were available at the time were either generated fairly simplistic workloads or they were fairly complicated and expensive to run. They wanted something that was sort of a middle ground and the file pitch was developed to be that particular middle ground. Um, and uh, while it's uh, we believe it's fairly easy to use. It also allows you to emulate quite a few different applications and the workloads that they uh, would generate. The file bench architecture that achieves this, we have workload files, which actually encapsulate the behavior of a particular application that we're trying to emulate. We have the file bench framework, which executes these uh, essentially as instructions and produces the actual I.O. We also have capability for backing plugins um, to work with different types of file systems, though presently the only plugin that's there is the POSIX one, which talks to a local file system. I'll have a little more to say about that later on in the talk. Uh, some of the features of FileBench, um, it has the ability to emulate a wide variety of workloads, as I mentioned. Uh, it has built-in support for large, randomly generated sets of files, which we call file sets in a multi-level uh, directory tree, and of course we're able to access those uh, in various methods. Um, the actual um, work is done by what we call flows, which are encapsulated in threads and processes, so you can have lots of threads, lots of processes, they can be multiple instances of the same thread, <coughs> different threads, um, and they all then produce the work uh, against the files in the file set. And um, they can, their behavior can be customized through attributes which are passed to them. So here's an example of a very simple random I.O. workload. Notice at the top we also have the variables which you can set to default values within the program itself, or the, the workload file, but you can also change them on the fly um, using uh, from the command console. And uh, you see a simple one with a single file and a process and a thread, uh, multiple threads, one, one thread. And this one is uh, doing a simple operation on the file, a random read. Um, so one of the things is making, that we recently put file into the end of Solaris. And in order to do that, we do quite a bit of cleanup of the code and, and, and some bug fixing. Um, is now available both through uh, SourceForge and through the Open Solaris uh, site and through the um, uh, Solaris Developers Express edition that uh, Sun passes out. Um, we've got a version so you can keep track of what you're doing and need some other changes to make it easier to use. Um, we also are adding some new features to it, a uh, thing called random variables, which each uh, time you access the variable, you get a different value from a random distribution that you can find, and composite flow ops, which are super flow ops, we have smaller flow ops, essentially adding some routine capability to file edge. Uh, both of those are actually have worked with prototypes and we can put it back soon. Uh, we have people working on NFS plugins, and we hope to eventually have a SIS plugin. And finally, we have multi client, we're investigating multi client frameworks in order to have more than one client feeding your really massive server. You know, right now, it's a file that just moved into a single client. And as it says, it's, it's open source, and we encourage people to help us. Um, if you want more information about FileMesh, you can see me at the poster session. Uh, we've also added a lot of more documentation online on uh, slurrisinternals.com. Uh, including detailed information about how file works and more information about a particular file, uh, particular 